This is what the managing director of cricket at Middlesex has been doing this trip. Here in Stellenbosch, first day of our two day game against uh, the Stellenbosch University side. Absolutely stunning setting as ever. Middlesex are batting, Compton at the crease. I'll try and zoom in a bit. I'm playing about just under an hour, 45, 50 minutes. Play the miss. Over in Mr. Gubbins. Just sort of zoom around. Scoreboard. What are we looking at? Number six, 41 without loss. Gubbins 9, Compton 29. I think that's what we're looking at. Sounds like you've kept him interested, Sam. Hi, Robbo. Sounds like you kept him in thrall. They've all decided to nap off. They've heard enough of him. Cheers, gents. I'll meet you one day. <laughs> Give me a ring when you're over. Monday, our screen here. You're on the live, yeah. So don't get married for a while then? No, nah, they said many, many years. No one will have me at the moment anyway, Gus. So <laughs> fair while off. How's your thumb coming? All right, yeah, not far away. So um, I've done a done a fair few drills and so on the last sort of week so um, I'll probably get back into things I'll try and have a few hits next week train hard next week in London and then um, try and get a you know practice game looking at Merchant Taylor's maybe yeah the week you. the week after yeah and then hopefully be ready to go so yeah good. it's coming along well oh, you look good in the next the other day yeah it's been good good facilities we've been very lucky here Stellenbosch has been unbelievable yesterday and today and um yeah, and Cape Town was good too, so I think it's been a beneficial couple of weeks for everyone. Get some rust out of the system. That's it, exactly. Bit of fun as well. <laughs> What's life without a bit of fun? Says I. Gubbins facing. Big appeal, we survived. I don't know why I should keep videoing this actually. What you're seeing is not very convincing. Playing and missing, edging, bigger peels. Come on, boys, get your fingers out. Bats have got middle as well as edges. Post tea session here in Stellenbosch. As you might gather from the noise, the wind has picked up. In fact, it's blowing a gale uh, across the field. So, in swingers to John Simpson here. James Franklin. Steve Eskenazi has just got out. Catch called a second slip. Got a good 50 actually. And Simo's pulled that for four. So, got Simo. Over there grabbing his cap. Scoreboard. I can't make that out, but hopefully you can. Three down, 200. I don't know. I've got 100, retired. Very productive, blustery day. Mr. Roland Jones and Mr. Harris walking off the field. All the Bengal Six batsmen spent the time at the crease. Bengal Six players come out of the dressing room and into the breeze. Hoping for a quieter day tomorrow when they're in the field. Simo, come here. Uh, 
I do for you, Angus. Just have a chat with you about the day's play. Enjoy that? Spending some time on the cruise? Yeah, I did. It was rather windy when I was batting, mate. Um, pretty tricky conditions. Um, but yeah, great day. Um, obviously, a great time to spend some, some time in the middle. Um, Compo got a, obviously played nicely. Gubbo, Eski. Uh, obviously, I missed out on a 50, which wasn't ideal. Um, but, you know, fair play to the Stellenbosch boys. They toiled hard on a pretty tricky day. Good pitch? Yeah, Wicky was very good. Um, you know, it's just, uh, I suppose we could be back home in that marquee at Radlett. <laughs> Green, nipping about, throwing a few dummies. Um, but yeah, Wicky was fantastic, so can't how, really complain. No, I mean, really strong wind blowing across the ground. How do you try and sort of handle that, manage that? Uh, pretty tricky. Uh, I mean, I try and widen my stance, try and get a, a bigger base. Um, but to be honest, when you're weighing 70 kilos, I think the wind got the better of me, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> and you've spent a bit of time over here, haven't you? Have you been playing at this club uh, since you came here on the MCC tour around Christmas time? Yeah, I spent the last three months out here. Um, you know, I've been pretty fortunate to uh, you know, train with Salem Bosch boys, um, get to know them, but also use the facilities here, which have been fantastic. And uh, I think uh, you know, they've, they've helped me in the preparations for, for pre-season. Um, and it's definitely um, you know, something I'll obviously think about potentially next winter, um, but obviously the big summer ahead. Um, but you know, I can't really fault um, you know, being able to come out here and uh, use the facilities. Do you recommend Stellenbosch as a place to come and socialise as well as learn your cricket? <laughs> I wouldn't know, Gus. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Apparently some beautiful vineyards and some lovely views. Um, it's a fantastic trail run that I've just done, actually. Good. Um, but yeah, no, absolutely. Um, beautiful place. Uh, I'm, I'm sure. Uh, you know, it's a real place of sporting sort of excellence, isn't it? It is. It is. You know, you look at the wonderful facilities they've got cricket-wise. You know, you've got the rugby stadium over there, the hockey, um, and everything about it. Sort of. You know, you know, obviously, growing up, you sort of anybody who dreams of playing any any form of sport would uh, relish the opportunity to come out here and uh, spend some time. So, well done today. Day in the field tomorrow, getting your hands dirty. Yeah, looking forward to it. Let's hope it's not as windy as that. <laughs>